you have your repositioning hoop and you've purchased Sew Up Pro and you're trying to use the program to stitch out a design that's much wider than your 4x4 hoop or your 5x7 hoop. You go to save the design so that you can stitch it out and as soon as you save it, you get this error message. What in the world does this mean and how do we fix it? Stay tuned and we'll get you the answer. Here is a repositional hoop set made for the Brother 4x4 embroidery machine off of Amazon. Now with this repositional hoop set, it comes with a standard 4x4 hoop, all right? So it looks just like the one you got with your machine. And it will only embroider a four inch by four inch section of an embroidery design. So if you want to embroider larger, how do you embroider larger? Well, look at the repositional hoop up top. It is four inches tall, but you can embroider much wider than the standard 4x4 hoop. How do we accomplish that? Think of your repositional hoop as a cake. So if you want to bake a tall cake, you have to bake your cake in layers. There is no tall pan for a tall cake. So you bake your cake in layers. Likewise, you need to create your embroidery design in layers as well. So your four by four embroidery hoop, you make that wider by using the repositional hoop along with Sew Up Pro. So let's take this design and put a cake with it and you'll see the first layer of your design is the top layer of the cake. So P1 is the first position, then P2 is the second position of your design or the second layer, and P3 is the third layer or the third section of your design. Now this applies whether you're using the 4x4 repositional set or the 5x7 repositional set. Now let's take a look at a couple of designs in Sew Up Pro and show you how the repositional hoop works. So here I have a design where I put the word Sew Up Pro and as you see across the top there's a P1, a P2, and a P3 and all you have to do is click on those arrows to turn on and turn off your positions. So the P1, P2, and P3 are positions. Now, if you go into your hoop properties, which is right here, the black uh, hoop shape with the green in the middle, then you'll see in the brother hoop tab, there's a small overlap size, which is your wide hoop. And then you have the tall. So let's click on the tall just so that you can see that's how you change from side by side to up and down. So let's go back to the right hoop. Just wanted to show that really quickly. And I turned my grid off. So if you go to view and grid lines, uh, we didn't need it for this demonstration. So just so that you'll know, that's how I turn my grid lines on and off. With this design, if we try to save it as it is, you're gonna get an error message. The following color blocks must be cut. One, to be saved in this positional hoop. Now it's calling color blocks this one, okay? So it's telling you that this color stop, the first color needs to be cut. All right, and it gives you some suggestions for splitting it and it tells you that it's not saved. So how do we get this to work with our Sew Up Pro? Again, just like the cake, we need to cut this into layers that Sew Up Pro can read. Now, you can check where your layers lay by selecting your positions. So in this first position, notice the second half of the what and then the letter O is too far over for a four by four section, all right? And if you select P2, then you have this out and the AT is out, but Pro is in there just fine. That's not gonna work for us either. And then of course, P3, the so and the letter P is out of place. The easiest way to cut this all apart especially if it's one color, is to go into your cutting toolbar. Now, your cutting toolbar is right up here in the uh, tool buttons, and you'll see you can even do alternate S on your keyboard to open this toolbar. So let's turn it on, and it grays out once it's open, and here's your cutting toolbar right here. So the first one, it, by default, it opens under select points, and that's what we want. 
So what we need to do is tell Sew Up Pro how to cut this up into layers. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut out the word what. So you right click on the desktop area here and then you cut around whatever it is that you're trying to split apart. All right, be careful not to cut across stitches because that will cut apart your stitches. Now that you have what you need, notice the button cut pattern is now lit up so you can press that. So let's click cut pattern. And now what we have is two color blocks or color stops. So the first one is so and pro and the second one is the word what, all right? So let's go back. We'll close out our cutting toolbar. And now let's check our first position. Our first position is so and pro. And as you see, if we try to save this, it's going to tell us our first color block still needs to be cut because it still cannot stitch both the word so and the word pro in one box. And if you select position two, the entire word so can't stitch. So we still have some splitting left that we need to do. Okay. So let's now cut out the word pro so that so what pro can split this up properly. So let's go back to our cutting toolbar and select points is already by default selected. And we're going to do the exact same thing is click a box all the way around the word pro and then select cut pattern. Now you have three different color stops. So what and then pro. All right. So now when we select color stop one, the word so it's going to stitch in position one. Color stop two, um, which is the word what is going to stitch with position number three. And the word pro is going to stitch with position number two. So now when we save this, it tells us that yes, it's going to be saved as position one, position two, and position three. You should only edit the original unsplit file and it tells you which pattern is which hoop position, okay? So that's how you can cut apart a pattern and use it with your repositional hoop that's too big for your four by four embroidery machine. So let's go to our next uh, design option and that's the repositional hoop four by four or five by seven graphic that I created. And notice I have 24 color blocks. So because each color block is a letter, so what pro won't have any issues splitting this up into three positions. Let's show you. So if we go here and then we hit save, now, no error message is going to split it up. Everything's just fine. And each position is saved. And if we go into our files on my desktop here, it did reposition, reposit rather, <laughs> the HO hoop and then four by four in the word or. And then as you see, position two and then position three. Okay, so here are your three parts that it's going to stitch and then stitch it all together as one whole design. Where a lot of people make their mistake is they get frustrated because it's going to stitch the letter R then stop. It's going to stitch the letter E then stop. It's going to stitch the letter P then stop. Why? Because you have 24 color stops or color blocks. Okay. So they get frustrated with that because it takes it even longer to stitch this out because of all of the starts and stops. So what they like to do is come up to edit, join threads, join all threads of the same color so that everything will just continue to stop without start, without you having to press the button to tell it to go again. And when you try to save this, it's not going to work because again, it's only one color block. And so a pro doesn't know how to split this up. One of the easier ways to join things is you'll have to just split them up um, by their colors. So for instance, I can grab R-E-P-O-S-I and turn that yellow. And then you remember um, in the example, H-O was in there. So let's grab letters until we come. Okay, so 13 is H, 14 is O, and we'll turn that yellow. 
and then four by four and the word or was in there so let's come here that's four by four o r and turn that yellow all right now let's go back and take a look at position two is i o n and then the other o p and then the first number five okay so let's come back here and i o n okay so the letter t needs to be yellow as well all right now i o n all i'm doing is holding down control and clicking each color stop to grab it and i'm going to change that color all right and then o p hold down control and i'm gonna turn that to red and then it was what the number five and turn that to red okay so now this is how so what pro split up each color section all right so the red position one as you see it's all yellow then position two you'll see it's going to stitch the red and then position three is going to stitch the blue so now to keep it from stitching one letter then stopping one letter then stopping we're going to join all of these by color all right so let's go to edit join threads join all adjacent threads of the same color click ok and now you only have eight color stops um, and you can actually hold down your shift key your right shift key and drag your colors up together so that everything will stitch um, all at the same time I don't know why it split it up like that let's do join threads of the same color again and now you have the three different color stops and then it will st still be able to split it up because it had already told us it was going to split it up that way right so then go to save and there you have um, your repositional hoop design where it won't do all that starting and stopping but it's still split up so that you can use it with your repositional hoop now let's go to something a little bit more challenging and we'll grab um, this design again here's a floral design with butterflies and whatnot so let's grab the right hoop that it should be in right now it's showing us the seven and a half i'm sorry the seven by five um hoop size so let's go down to the small overlap but i want the tall one all right and click ok and here we have our different layers of our cake right well if we select color stop number one you see all of these leaves are separate but they are all going to try and stitch as one color stop and that's not going to work for us because the leaves make the design larger than the four by four area so that's not going to work we got to cut this apart now the cool thing about the cutting toolbar is if you select a specific color in your list of color stops then you open the toolbar you can actually cut this apart by color only so let us select position three and look all of these will stitch in the third position so we're just going to cut these this section up here apart cut pattern and now you don't have to worry about the embroidery machine not being able to split color stop number one but color block number two is going to be an issue because it is across too many color um, it's across too many positions so we need to cut this apart by color then cut th three we don't have to cut so if you select position one it's going to save in position one you don't have to cut that one magenta you will have to cut you see what i'm saying so it can be pretty simple to break a design apart um and know where you don't have to cut it apart because like this won't have to be cut apart okay so that's how you can split a design apart without having to you know maneuver and click all in these little itty bitty spaces and possibly cut through the design and not get it right okay let's look at this rose again your color stop one two and three you don't need to cut because those will all fit in the first position but color stop four you will because it's over it's well larger than just one uh, position so if we select position one and position three 
you'll see that there's a gray area right in here where the two hoops overlap. So this will let you know that you can actually split this in half and be able to do one part of the flower up here and another part of the flower down here. So again, we're going to open our cutting toolbar and I'm just going to um, draw in this area or click a box around the flower and then cut the pattern and then close the toolbar out. And now I don't have to worry about saving this. It will now save with two positions, okay? As long as you have the brother selected. All right, and so it's telling me now I only have two positions to worry about. So that's how you can split one when it's all one color stop and then stitch it together and it should stitch you know fairly close together if it doesn't sometimes you'll have to nudge the design on the embroidery machine to line up but for the most part um, you should be able to stitch a complete design in sew up pro with the repositional hoop so i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you have please hit the thumbs up button for us and also consider subscribing we do go live every sunday 9 p.m eastern standard time with a lot of walkthroughs and tutorials we also do post standalone tutorials from time to time here on this channel. So be on the lookout, click the notification bell, and you will be alerted whenever we have something um, posted here for you to see. So thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you have happy embroidering.